what's up guys and welcome back to another video um, i'm currently just trying to focus and slave away at this course management program that i'm working on but uh, i've gotten a couple comments from you guys saying that you guys want to see a what's in the bag video uh, to be quite honest with you i don't really understand the hype behind it i don't really understand why this is a thing but um you know what obviously you guys are interested so i'm just gonna act like you guys are interested in this and uh just kind of show you guys through bro are you gonna get on with it or are you just gonna keep yapping i mean i was going it, to it, i mean it's good to you but I mean, if you're not gonna hurry up, then I'm just gonna go practice. You mother. Alright, so I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have a lot of clubs in here right now. I'm actually doing this entire thing just completely impromptu. Um, so let's see how many clubs I got in this thing. So right now I got two putters, driver, and three wood. Take these out for a second. <laughs> I got some irons up here where I put my woods, my extra six iron, extra pitching wedge, extra wedge. I'll go over these in a little bit more detail. I'm just showing you, that's a lot of clubs in there. Um, so these are all the extra ones and I'm trying out this putter right here that you guys have seen in my last two videos. This is the putter that I've kind of been using for a long time now, but I'm giving this one a try. So let's go into more detail here. All right, so this guy is my old Nike driver. Well, it's actually their latest Nike driver, which is about three years ago, four years ago, something like that. Still got the old blue head, blue Nike head. Let's see, what is this? I think this is a 10.5 degree. It doesn't say on the driver, but um, yeah. I've got the matrix shaft. I think it's actually the, I think it's the black tie shaft. Focus. Black tie shaft. I think that means 73 grams. X flex. I have no clue what the shaft does. I don't know anything about shafts. I just kind of play with whatever they give me. They gave me this guy back in college. So, and it's been pretty good since. Um, this is my three, oh, this is my three wood. Still got the old red covert Nike, uh, 15 degree. I think this is called the Diamana blue board, I guess. It looks blue. I don't know what it's actually called, but it is a Diamana 80 grams X flex. Uh, again, no clue what it does, but it gives me good numbers. Give me a good ball flight. And uh, we'll go with my wedges here. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Get this towel out of here. So I'm gonna explain to you guys why I have these extra three clubs in here. <laughs> um, so I have an extra pitching wedge, six iron, and an extra sand wedge. Reason being is I only hit these clubs on the range um, because I don't have any club sponsors or any club deals or anything. Uh, I just I just stick with these guys and hit these guys on the range. Um, this one's good so I can get my uh, yardages down from about 110 to 140. Get those really dialed in here. This is my six iron just to smack it around on the range so I can kind of preserve the grooves that's on this six iron. Just make sure these guys last as long as possible because I can't get free clubs anymore. And this is my, my sandwich which is pretty much the same thing as the one I have except this one's a different grind so it doesn't really react the same as it would out of the bunker. And then now we're gonna go into my actual clubs here. This is, I'm just gonna pull a random, actually here. <laughs> you guys might've noticed, I have a random three iron that's like not matching the rest of my set. That's because when I went up to St. Louis, the Metro Open, I actually lost my three iron before I went up there. I played with my buddy, Charlie, and uh, we played Southern Hills and Oak Tree and one other course, I think. And I just don't have a clue where my three iron went. I don't know how I just lose one iron. Like I've never done that before, but uh, when I went up to St. Louis, I had to use like a random, just a rental set three iron that they gave me. And then after that, I gave it back and I went to Norman, Oklahoma, my college town. And I went to our golf facility and just snagged a random three iron out of their uh, extra club locker room thing. So hopefully no one was using this on the team, but <laughs> just a random three iron here now. And I'm just going to grab a random iron. These are all the same shafts, obviously. Um, this is just the old... What are these called? 
Nike Vapor Pro Combo. Um, it's not the blades, it's kind of like the cavity back line. But um, hey, check out that sweet spot though. But anyways, uh, this has got the Tourist UX100 Dynamic Gold shafts. Again, no clue what that does. It just gives me good numbers and it works for me. <coughs> this is my, oh, these are my wedges. These are the old Nike Engage wedges. And I go 58 degree, 53 degree. And the reason why you guys might think of 53 degrees a little weird, but that's because 58 to 53 is five degrees. And then my pitching wedge is 48 degrees. So that's another five degrees there. So that gives me a nice little gap between those three wedges, five yard increments. So that gives me a good yardage gap. This is my two iron. This is probably the first club I'm gonna switch out when I get new clubs. This thing just likes to just shoot out to the right. I don't know what it is. I think Rory apparently said the same thing too, because I, I don't know, someone told me that. And apparently Brooks Kepka has still got his whatever iron this is. But this thing just likes to shoot out to the right and I don't really like that. Yeah, that's my two iron. Got two alignment sticks here. Golly, I'm just making a mess right now. Um, so this is the putter that I've been using for a while now. So this is the prototype version of one of the Nike putters. I don't think this one actually ever hit in stores, but um, this is the long neck, just a regular blade putter. I told Nike to put a line on the bottom and a line up top as well, but I ended up deciding to just black out the line on the bottom just so I don't really have to look at that and just only see the top line. And they were <laughs> nice enough to put my name underneath the Nike swoosh there, which is kind of cool. So the, the neck is extra long here and I can't point it out because I don't have another arm right now, but if you were to draw a line from this shaft down and just keep it going, it would go down to the middle of the head here. That basically means that the center of the head is where the shaft is balancing. And so that means this is a face balance putter. So as you can see, this is a face balance putter here which is a little bit weird for a blade putter, but if you have a long neck putter, that's what it does. Also, it's got a um, super stroke grip. Pistol GTR 1.0, feels pretty good. Um, but I'm not really using that right now as at the moment. I'm using this guy. This is a backup putter that my, <laughs> that my buddy Charlie gave me. Um, he's been playing on the web last year and then the China tour again this year, or PJ Tour China this year. And this guy is called the Tank. It's just a Callaway putter. Not Callaway putter, Odyssey putter. Um, and this guy is a little extra heavy in the head here. And Charlie has just been freaking killing it over there in China. Just been winning, I think, the last like four or five events in the last six or seven starts. I mean, he is just raking it in. Um, but his, this is his backup putter he gave me. And I thought, you know what, if he's making a ton of money, I'm gonna snag his putter and see what, how it works for me. So it's been pretty good so far. Um, he's got this Garson grip on it. Garson. And uh, I don't know if you can get this yet. I, I, I have no clue. I didn't actually look that up. But basically what Garson likes to do is get your hands. If Typically it's like this with your hands where your palms are just kind of facing each other. He kind of gets your grips to be a little underneath like this. So this hand would be like this. This hand would be like this. So they're both a little bit underneath the grip here. This grip is actually a little less severe than the other ones, but uh, same kind of concept. All right, now let's go over to the interesting stuff, I guess, here. This is my ball pouch. That's where I keep my balls. I use Bridgestone balls. This is probably the best ball out there, honestly, in my opinion. Um, they're just so fun to chip with. It's got so much nip on it. I'll leave a link down in the description box if you guys uh, use my links, my Amazon links. I get a tiny little commission off of these guys or really anything else you buy on Amazon. But uh, these guys, you know, they, I mean, I've never had so much fun chipping around the greens until I got these balls. They, they just nip so much around the greens. I haven't really noticed that much of a spin increase uh, with my full swing shots but I'm sure it's just a little bit more, but honestly, it's not really that noticeable for me. So that's the balls I use. Got a couple extra balls here. Um, this is my sunscreen I use. That's it for that. Right up here, got my little coin pouch here, and usually I keep, well, I don't feel a battery in here. I usually keep an extra battery for my rangefinder in here, 
which is probably a good thing I'm making this video because I can't feel one in here. So I need to put an extra battery in this guy. And in here is a compass. When you guys see my free version of my course manager program, you guys will understand why I keep a compass in my bag and I keep this in my pocket sometimes. And this is completely tournament legal. I use this in tournaments all the time, but it's really useful for me. And let's go in this big, big zipper here. This, I've got some junk in. Like I'm just straight up doing this completely impromptu. I haven't even cleaned out anything, so it might be a little embarrassing, but this is a old yardage book. Oh, this is the one I just played, the one where I shot 14 under in, in Oklahoma. The yardage book for that, some trash. One of these guys, I don't know what you call these little screw driver screw things. And then we got this thing right here, which you guys will be probably interested in seeing. Uh, hold on. So this is a tripod that's, you know, obviously really small, but you can extend it out to get to about, about hip high here. And it's got a little pouch right here. It's kind of a DIY homemade pouch here, but stick your phone right in here, line it up down the line of your feet, and you can just record your swing. Real easy, pop it in and out. This little pouch is something that my dad made. Here, let me take it out for you guys real quick. All it is, is just a wooden block with a little, uh, I guess like a screw threading in there. Some Velcro on the other side and then Velcro on the pouch. And this is just some random pouch. I don't even, I think it was like some random like old camera pouch or something like that, but phone fits in here perfectly. Really useful. This is my quote unquote instructor that travels around with me everywhere I go. Pretty much use this guy every time I get out there. I probably use this guy too much. I probably look at my swing too much, but it's been really helpful for me over the years getting my swing. Um, got my gloves up here. I am creating a freaking mess. And then this is my rangefinder. I don't really like this guy. This guy freaking, this guy I'll shoot like three times and one time it'll give me like 185 and the next time it'll give me like 182. I'm like, dude, I mean, I understand like one or two yards, but that's a pretty big difference. Like I'm, it's kind of getting in my head. Let's go over here. This is my water bottle. In here, I have my only training aid, the Dave Pell's putting tutor. Uh, this is my favorite training aid and my only training aid that I have in my bag. Let me show you guys this real quick. So, all this is, it's just this little thing that you put on the greens. And it's got a little, uh, little thing right here. As you can see, it kind of protrudes out so we can get some traction on the greens. And you just put a ball right here. And then it comes with these marbles, right? It comes with these marbles. And you stick these guys right in here. So it'll show you, because in putting, you need to get three things right if you want to be a good putter. You need to learn how to read the greens, you need to learn how to have good speed, and you need to learn how to hit your line that you're looking at. So this is going to take care of one of them, where it's going to help you get the ball rolling on the line that you intend to roll it on, right? Because if you pull this putt a little bit, you're going to you're going to hit that marble, the marble's going to come off, and you're going to know immediately. So that would mean that you hit that putt dead straight, perfectly square, down the, down where, right where you're looking. Um, if you hit one of these marbles, obviously it's, it means you either pulled it or pushed it. If you wanna make it a little bit easier on yourself, you can put it on these ones that are a little bit further out. But um, this is like a staple of mine for me when I'm putting. I'm just trying to make sure every day that I'm hitting these lines right where I'm looking. And that's kind of why I'm using this Odyssey putter because this guy, seems to have such an easier time getting it through and hitting these putts square that I don't really have to think about it almost. So um, that's why I'm kind of sticking with this guy for now. This right here is, we we'll some more trash. This here is my yardage book cover. Got this in college, pretty sweet. Has my name on it and then says Boomer up top. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. All right, so that's it for me today, guys. Uh, thanks to you guys that have been asking me a question about what's in my bag. Uh, but you guys can stop asking me that now because I'm not gonna be getting any new clubs for a while. Real quick, I just wanna say thank you to you guys that are supporting my channel every single month. Here are their names right here. 
And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really does make a difference. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.